Here's how you solve a normal skyscrapers puzzle 4x4. Earlier I showed a video how to solve an easy skyscrapers puzzle. The easy had a clue on every row and every column. The normal, we've only got you know a few clues put out here. A uh, little review of how a skyscraper puzzle works. You are, um, here's some starting clues. If you know these clues, it gives you a great place to start. Um, when you look the direction that the arrow is pointing, you can see this number of skyscrapers. You'll have in every row and column, you'll have four skyscrapers, one story, two story, three story, and four story. If you look um, in the direction of this arrow, you can only see one skyscraper. You know it has to be the tallest skyscraper and all the others are blocked from view by it. So you know that that has to be a four. Um, here, here on the bottom one, you can see that it says you can see four skyscrapers going across. If you can see all four skyscrapers, that means there are no short skyscrapers hidden behind the taller ones. So they have to go one, two, three, and four. If you can see three skyscrapers, then you know the first box has to be a one or a two. If you can see two skyscrapers, you know the first box has to be one, two, or three. It can't be a four because if it was a four, then this would have to be a one. All right, let's go ahead and try and solve a puzzle here. Um, first thing I like to do is just write in my hints or anything, anything that is obvious. I'll write down first. There's no obvious answers, so I'll go ahead and put in my my um, my hints. I know that this three has to be a one or a two. I know that this three has to be a one or a two. I know that this two has to be a one, two, or three. And that's pretty much all I have as far as my hints go. Um, now, if I look across, starting with this three, looking through this direction, I know where the four goes. The four has to go here. Because if the four were put in this box, I could only see one, two skyscrapers. So I know that this is a four. And that's how you, you just start off like that and you just keep looking for clues. Now, if you look across the top here, here's a four. There's a one or a two in the first and the last box. That tells me this box can't be a one or a two and it can't be a four, so it must be a three. Um, let's just keep on looking for some clues. Um, oh, looking across here, this, it can go one, three, four. It can go two, three, four. So that isn't doesn't tell us anything. If we look down from the top, we can see three things here. That means a four has to go here or here. It could go one. It can't go one, two, three, four. But it could go two, one, three, four. I don't have enough information there. Let me go ahead and fill in some more things that I know. One. This is two or three, so this has to be a one or a four. And this has to be a one or a four. Um, let's keep looking. Going across here, not enough to work with. Two, we have two, two. Oh, here we go. If you look here, there's a two, there's a two. In the top row, there has to be a two. Here I see a two. There's a two or a one. That tells me this has to be one. It can't be a two because there's already a two in that column. So this has to be a two right here. And then uh, when I look here, we have two, two. We have to have a two right here. Um, I'll go ahead and get rid of this two right here. All right. Now, um, let's keep seeing what we have. If we can see two from here, if I can see one, two, four, then I would see three things, one, two, four. But I can only see two. So I know that this cannot be a one. If it's a one, I would see at least three skyscrapers. So if it's not a one, it must be a three. And now that's a one or a four, and this is a one or a four. But it can't be a one because there's a one up here, so this is a four. This is a one. This down here has to be a four. 
Now, in this column, I can see there's only one thing missing. One, two, three, four. And let's keep looking here. Um, let's just fill in whatever we have left. Um, this is two or four, so that means this has to be one or a three, and this has to be a one or a three. But there's already a three here, so I know that this one has to be the one, and this one has to be the three. Now over here, we've got two and three. That means these have to be one or four. Well, there's a one, so I know this is the four, and this is the one. And then I say done, and it says Congratulations, you solved the puzzle. Okay, now um, that's how you solve these. I'm going to solve another one just because um, there might be some more tricks or tips or things I can give you. So here's a new puzzle. And on this new puzzle, let me get it lined up. All right, on the new puzzle, here we go. Um, start filling in my clues. This is a, a one. It tells me that right next to the one, you have to have a four. Um, this down here has to be one or two, and this has to be one, two, or three. Now, that's not very many clues to start with. So let's just start filling stuff in and see what happens. Here's a one, here's a four. That tells me this has to be two or three, and this has to be two or three. But I know that I have to have three going across um, to the left. So if I say one, two, three, four, I can see four going across. This is a three, it can't be that way. So I know this can't be one, two, it has to be one, three, two, four. And now one, three, four. I can see three things going across. Now down here, I put a three in that box, that tells me that this three can't be here. Now I have a one or a two and a one or a two. That means I have three or four here, and three or four here. But I already have a four in this column, so that tells me this box has to be a three, this box has to be a four. And now I'll go ahead and fill in some more information that I have. I know that in this column we have a three or a four, that tells me this is one or two, and this is one or two. In this column I have a one, or a four, so that tells me this is two or three, and this is two or three. And now, let's see what we can do here. Ah, here's a two, and this was one or two. This can't be a two, so it has to be a one. If that's a one, this is a two. And now I can fill in some more information. Um, I'll just go ahead and put in all the hints I have. One, two, that tells me this is three or four and this is three or four. And this says two, three, that tells me this is one or four, and this is one or four. And now I've got all my hints filled in, so I need to do some thinking. If I look from this two, I can see two things. If I, if I were to make this right here a one, I would see two I couldn't see the one because it's hidden, but I could see two, three, and four. Well, that would let me see three skyscrapers. I can only see two. Since I can only see two, I know this is a four. Now I can see two, four. If that's a four, this has to be a one, Oops, a one. And now I can go through and just start canceling out the things that are that I just figured out. If that's a one, this is a two. If that's a two, this is a three. And if that's a three, this is a four. If this is a two, this is a one. If this is a four, this is a three. If this is a three, this is a two. And I will say done, and it says congratulations, you solved the puzzle. If you like to solve skyscraper puzzles, just Google skyscrapers puzzle and you'll find them. There are several sites. This one is skyscrapers um, or puzzle-skyscrapers.com. Anyway, I'll put the um, initial hints up again. These hints right here are what you will, just if you know these hints, if there's a one, you know the next box is a four. If there's a three, you know the next box is a one or a two. If you know these hints, you have a good starting point. 
The these ones are a little bit harder, but they're not um, they're not crazy difficult. All right, hope you found this useful. Have fun solving puzzles.